Hey, uh, Human Click Fallen Support here. So in this video, I'm just going to go over how we can use and configure the bullet list element. So I have a simple page set up. We currently don't have any elements yet. So we'll click Add Elements. We can click Text to get a subset of just text-related elements. We'll add in the bullet list. Now, the text elements work a little bit differently than some of our other elements. If I click on it here, instead of jumping us into the menu on the right-hand side, it will jump us into this text editor. Um, inside of here, we can make a number of changes. We can bold text, we can italicize text, we can underline it, we can do a strike through. We can play with the justification and we can also create links as well. Now to get into the actual settings for it, we can hover over it and click on the gears icon. Alternatively, we can go into the elements list, click manage, and select the element in question. Inside here, we can adjust the top margin. We can choose a font family. We can adjust the font size, the text color. We can set a independent icon color. Going over from there, we can click themes if we want to use a predefined theme as opposed to um, sort of configuring the look and feel ourselves. We can get out a couple of other options by clicking on the advanced tab. By default, styles will be pre-selected. Here we can choose a icon for each check mark independently. Finally, we can click on the animation tab. We can set up a time delay where we can choose fade in or fade in with scale. If I set this to one minute and 30 seconds, for example, the element in question will not actually appear on the page until one minute and 30 seconds after the page has initially been loaded. We can also set up an animation. We can choose on page load, which will take effect as soon as the page is loaded, or we can choose on page scroll, which will only take effect when the element actually comes into view for the user. We can also choose a style and set a delay in milliseconds. So hopefully this helps clear things up a little bit in terms of how you can add, use, and configure the bullet list element. If you do have some more questions though or anything like that, definitely go ahead and let us know in support chat.